FIFA 21 starter teams. Let's see what I'm going to rock and what you guys are going to rock at the start. Are you sick and tired of facing teams like this and yours not being good enough? Well, look no further. Head over to U7 Buys for some cheap, safe and reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout with the link in the top line of the description for 5% off your order. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title, obviously the intro, we today are going to be looking at FIFA 21 starter teams, some of the teams that you guys want to rock at the start within like the first month or so and also we're going to go through and pick a team that I would like to get as of now at the start of FIFA 21. Obviously we might figure out some players are overpowered or the meta, etc. So teams might change, but going off some of the ratings we've seen so far, I'm gonna provide you with a team that I wanna get basically by the end of the first month. Obviously it's all dependent on like FIFA points spending, etc. So depending on if you guys spend a lot of FIFA points or if I do. So it should be interesting. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and do my team first and then we're gonna get into some of you guys. Thanks to you guys that sent in your teams on either Discord or Twitter, you guys are legends and also Twitch actually as well. And some of them were built on the FIFA 20. So some of the ratings you see might not be right and players might have different ratings. They will if it's the FIFA 20 build just to point out. But basically it's just to take like a glance at the players people wanna use at the start of the game. So yes, let's I suppose get into this, uh, get into my team. But just before we do that, we have got a sponsor for today's video. I wanna say a big thank you to Soccer US for sponsoring this. Soccer US allow you to actually get cheaper football shirts that aren't actually the official ones, just to point out, like the actual official material you might get from like a sports direct or the official store, but they actually are the exact same. You can get them for a lot cheaper. I know shirts nowadays are really, really expensive. I mean, I literally paid 64 pound for a Man United shirt. Whereas if you look here, the prices are a lot cheaper than the actual official kind of shirts you get. And you can also get the likes of retro shirts as you should be able to see here. And also they sent me some shirts out as well. Let me show you a few of my Instagram posts on the screen now. I absolutely love the retro kits they offer as well, which are very, very nice. So yeah, there'll be a link in the top line of the description to Soccer US. Go ahead and check them out and let me know if you get any of the shirts. All right, so now it is time to get into some of these squads, or at least my squad first, then and get into some of your guys' squads. So let's get ourselves over to footbin okay so here we are on the footbin screen now time to figure out our actual team okay first man i'm getting in here is mr Jaden sancho okay currently got a borussia dortmund badge and i don't know if you can customize it on this because let's be honest he's joining man united so you know man united link on that right let's just we'll think of it as a united link okay we'll go with that then linking off sancho we're gonna go for mr bruno Fernandez on this right hand side, I think. Then another strong link for Fernandez, Mr. Ricardo Pereira, who looks pretty good. Or actually, we could go for Aaron Wambasaka, who probably actually is a better shout. That card looks incredible. And I absolutely loved him in terms of team of the season this FIFA or like FIFA 20. So I think we'll probably go with Wambasaka. So that then basically allows us to go with whatever we want on the rest of the team because they're now all sort of a chemistry obviously like i said sancho at united just imagine it obviously it'd be a strong link to bruno he doesn't even have a link so i guess we work on the rest of the team then i think in terms of the rest of the defense maybe kempembe varan maybe in there uh i don't know maybe i don't know how i'm gonna get the chemistry to work for varan probably gonna have to go for someone like a courtois which probably isn't the greatest shout so what i think we'll do is we'll switch that up and we'll bring in instead longley and then to stegen uh just like the good old FIFA 20 days. Uh, I think I literally played with that for like the first couple of months as that defensive partnership and that's probably what I'm going to go with. So that then sorts us for chemistry in terms of them guys I think. Maybe Varane actually I think needs another link so we're probably going to have to go for a French player here. I'm tempted to go for another United player. I really am and I think I'm going to go with him and in here we're going to go for Paul Pogba. Downgraded by two can we also point out and also I forgot to talk about Sancho. Can we just have a word about that? 83 pace. Since when did he look... It, you would have thought, right? You would have thought maybe Sancho was 20, like 29, 30 last year. And he's gone to 31. He's literally gone from 19 years of age to 20. And you're telling me he's lost on his base card. Five pace. Doesn't make sense. But anyways, don't want to get into it. Else I'm going to get too frustrated. Then, on to the rest of the team. I'm not going to put any icons in at the moment because obviously it's down really to price. So Mbappe at striker, obviously getting that upgrade to 90 rated. That card looks ridiculous and was ridiculous at the start of FIFA 21. Who's then going to link on the left-hand side to Mr. Neymar. 
I think I'm going to go with, once again, should be ridiculous at the start of the game. Like, that should be disgusting. And now we've just got the left centre mid and the left back. I mean, this is looking very expensive. Obviously, like I said, this is basically my aim for the first weekend league, which usually is like two weeks after the like early access kind of release. So, it's not impossible could be done depending on how many fever points i decide to put on but yeah like i said just this left hand side to figure out now i mean i could go down the league and route the premier league route the league route as well i feel like i probably should have another defensive player here maybe we go for oh, i don't know it's a hard one it really is i'm thinking maybe a kante and then a theo hernandez at left back which looks like a very nice card that sorts us for chemistry. And I don't think that team is looking too bad. Now, if we run through it again, so in goal is the Stegen. Right back is Wamasaka. Right centre back is Varane. Left centre back is Longley. Left back is Theo Hernandez. Left centre mid Kante. Central centre mid Pogba. Right centre mid Bruno. Right wing Sancho. Striker Mbappe. And left wing Neymar. And obviously, you might be thinking what I'm going to change to in game. I might go for the formation that I've been rocking a lot on. FIFA 20, but I might go back to the good old trusty 4-2-3-1. So this is what it'd look like in-game with a 4-2-3-1, I think. Um, so we'd have uh, Paul Button and Kante as a CDM uh, kind of partnership. Maybe Paul wouldn't be that great as a CDM. I don't know. He's probably more of like a central midfielder, but we can see how it goes. The central cam then would be Bruno, left cam Neymar, right cam Sancho, and then striker. Kylian Mbappe. I mean, looking like a tasty but very expensive squad. Like, we're probably talking ridiculous amounts here, like 3 million coins. Whether I can get a good enough pack luck at the start is probably debatable. Um, knowing my normal gold pack luck, it's not great. So yeah, that is the team I'm looking to get. Maybe for the first week in League after like the first month or first promo that drops. Hopefully something like that. Maybe that's pushing it a little bit. But let me know what you think of the team in the comments below. All right, so now, like I said, we're going to get into some of your guys' teams. So let me load some of these up and let's take a look. All right, so first up, we've got my man Musa with his um, starter squad. That's looking very nice, actually. I mean, I'm looking at it right now. And I'll obviously show you guys it in two seconds. So here is his team. He's got Schmeichel in goal, right back Aurier, right centre back Sanchez, left centre back Ake, left back the Banat. Then he's got left mid Rodri, central centre mid Endon Bele, right centre mid Keita. And he's got right wing Minamino, I never know how you pronounce that, striker Jesus, and left wing is Asensio. I mean, looking at the chemistry, it's, it's a bit off on the chemistry in terms of uh, Jesus, Asensio, and Bernat. But the actual overall choice of players is looking decent. I mean, Endon Bele should be pretty solid. He was last FIFA. I mean, I think he's been downgraded in pace as well. Ake and Sanchez, I think both been maybe downgraded in pace, but still looking decent. I mean, that is definitely like a good, achievable, I think, starter squad for most people. I mean, just going through like SPCs, the advanced SPCs at the start, like that looks pretty solid to me. I think the most expensive players in that team will probably be the likes of Jesus, Endon Bele. Probably Ake as well will be fairly expensive and also maybe Davis and Sanchez. If he's a non-rare it might be a little bit cheaper. But yeah, they'll probably be the main ones. I think Jesus is always fairly expensive near the start of FIFA's. But obviously a very solid option to get right near the start. So yeah, that's looking good. So now we've got some squads that have been built basically on the FIFA 20. This is on the FIFA 20 build. But this is obviously a concept for a FIFA 21 squad, a starter squad. As you can see, Definitely different. I mean, Castile's in there. Malqui, Upper Mercado, Conate. I think Upper Mercado will probably be higher rated than 77, obviously. That is there. He's got Reguilon at the left back. And that might not be a Real Madrid, so he might have to switch that up. And then right mid, Lozano. Left mid is Vinicius Jr. who We've seen his card. I think he's gone up to an 80 rated on his base. Central centre mid, he's got Texera. Then Augusto, Paulinho, and Richarlison. as a right mid at the moment, but I think he probably will most likely get a striker card. I think, once again, Richarlison is going to be fairly expensive. Obviously, people are probably going to go off the meta from FIFA 20 this year and then use him probably because he's got the five star weak foot so i expect him to be fairly expensive at the start i don't know if his card has already been released paulinho should be a pretty good midfielder he usually is he might have lacked a little bit of pace they might have brought his pace down this year whether it's been released once again i'm not too sure defensive partnership is looking solid uh, i think the overall defense should be good like i said a bar regulon who might not get that strong link to venetians or a link at all um depending on if he actually moves clubs but once again a nice looking team a different team a nice looking starter team i like the look of it and should be solid to kick off the year and also forgot to say thanks to JS9 for sending in that team all right next up we've got my boy Clot Dino with his team that he's looking to get basically he's gone for special cards because some of them fit in the right positions etc for chemistry I mean you'll see in a sec but let's go ahead 
and check it out. So, as you can see, he's gone for Schmeichel in goal. Right back, Doherty, who's obviously gone to Spurs. Right centre back, Soyuncu. Left centre back, Alaba. Um, left back, Alfonso Davies. Left centre mid, Goretzka. That nice triangle in that corner is looking filthy, by the way. And if you didn't know, Alaba's base card this year is a centre back. But yeah, that is definitely a nice triangle of Bayern players there. That is looking very nice. And also on the right hand side, that Ndidi link to the Soyuncu is very nice. I mean, that Ndidi card will probably be incredible at the start of this game. And then obviously, Lascelles are joining them in centre mid. Then he's got left forward, Rashford, right forward, Lucas Moura, and then striker, Mikel Antonio, who I think has a very nice card. I know Rashford does, and I know Lucas Moura actually is default right mid as well. So he's looking like a class team. A little bit more expensive than probably the last two, but definitely, definitely, I think once again, achievable from doing advanced SBCs, opening a few packs, that would be a very, very solid team at the start of this game. All right, then, so I think we're going to look at one more team, and that is my man Scruffy Dog, who's gone ahead and linked his in the Discord. So here we have his team. He's got Dean Henderson in goal. Right back, he's gone for Dumfries. Right centre back, Ake. Left centre back, Lindelof. Left back, obviously, that Akuna. Then left Left centre mid, Bataglia, central centre mid, Van Der Beek, right centre mid, Zielinski, right wing, then Lozano, striker, Marlin, and then left wing, Promise. Obviously, you might be thinking about the chemistry um, that I actually also thought about the chemistry at the start. I was like, Lindelof's on not very good chemistry, and so is Van Der Beek. But obviously, Van Der Beek will be switching to a Man United card, so he'll have a strong link to Ake, strong link to Lindelof. That will sort his chemistry out. And Marlin will still obviously have an orange link with him because he's from the Netherlands, and um, obviously, even Lindelof's uh, chemistry will then go up. And also, Akuna might have a left back card because I know he played left back fairly often for Sporting Lisbon. But once again, a nice looking team. I mean, the attack is definitely looking saucy. Flash our skills on that promise. Marlon was good at the start of last year. Lozano's always decent because of his pace, unless they've shafted his pace as well. But the back line's looking solid. Dumfries is usually a good right back. So overall, not a bad looking team at all and should be pretty solid for the start of FIFA 21. So yeah, boys, I think that is going to wrap up this video of the FIFA 21 starter squads. Like I showed you, my team that I'm thinking of building, maybe, I mean, I, like I said, it might be a bit too expensive what I'm looking at, but I'm going to try my best to get it within like the first month or two after, like I said, the first promo that EA Sports drop. What I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments a team you're thinking of. If you've got a team, tweet me. If you don't follow me on Twitter already, it's literally NerdfireYT. Go ahead and follow me and tweet me your starter team you're thinking of doing. And also let me know your top three three players you're excited to use at the start of next FIFA. It doesn't have to be the top three players on the game like R9, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. Just three players that you think are going to be incredible at the start of FIFA 21. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.